What's up, y'all? Shuffle. We're back again with another viewer run. This one is from Banta Fodder, an aspiring YouTuber, so I will link them down below. Make sure to go check it out and say, hey, what's up? And uh, this was recorded on June 9th, or at least it was uploaded June 9th, but the backlog is, in fact, immense. And as far as submissions go, submissions, I am closing them. Unless you are a new player and you want help, then I'll, uh, <clears throat> sorry. If you're a new player and you need help, I will bump you up because the remainder of what's left in the backlog are people that have gone before or people that are just trying to flex because they know what they're doing. So the original goal of the series was to help people. And so if you want help in this game because it's on sale on like every platform now, every like two weeks at this point, then send something in on YouTube and uh, I'll get to it. So that's it for the stuff there. And then I guess if you like the stuff, hit the thumbs up, leave comments with your thoughts. And uh, check out the box below for all the cool stuff like Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and Patreon. Alright, that's it for the plugin. And uh, this is here, this says Week 9, I think this is their first playthrough. And we're on Radiant, which is definitely no, uh, no slight against anyone. Radiant is, it's easier in some ways and it's harder in others. And the monster stats don't change, so it's not like it's actually easier. It's just, it's different. It's an accelerated game mode. But the game tells you to start on it for some reason, which is weird. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm... This is a long video. My, uh, my throat's a little dried out from about four and a half hours of streaming. I just ate some food and then I start recording this. Hey guys, Banfighter back with... That's right, The this is the first time we've ever like listened to the other person's thought process. So that'll be pretty interesting. Another week of Darkest Dungeon. So, last time, uh... Actually went pretty good. Uh, not too much stress. Team came out all right. This time focus around, focus ring. We're gonna be going into the cove. Oh no, we should go leaves, over that focus ring. And grab speed sounds good too. Stone. So this is uh, the team I've assembled so far. Seventy-two I'm crests on week nine. That's pretty good. About changing it. Yeah, this doesn't have a dedicated healer. Because I don't. And Holy Slayer, Caltrops. Caltrops not too good in the cove. I don't think I'm gonna need the. Uh, Eldritchator really good here. It's an okay loadout. Okay, I guess they're gone. Do that. Um, let's see. People are a bit stressed out. This is, this is pretty normal for that. a first run. A bomb. Who can now party with religious people? They changed that a couple years ago. Vestal. In case you're a returning player and you're like, why can this happen? Okay, we have two Vestals. Screw it, Jestel, dude. Her for now. Cove Adventure. Perfect. Oh, and she's got less stress in the Cove. This will be great. That's going to help offset Stress Eater. Uh, slow draw kind of sucks, but it's, it's not the worst thing on her. Lazy Eye is great on Jester because he has no range attack. So that's just a free quirk slot taken up. Okay. They don't have much Sater. in the way of positive quirks. Yeah, so I'm going to rock these people. Um, I probably... Oh, we need Ballad. Okay, good. Uh, he's level zero. Inspiring Christ. Oh yeah, Stunning Blow. Um, can we raise the price on this? Or like, lower the price? Yeah, level zeros. Okay. I like that moveset. That, that's a pretty standard Crusader moveset. Handles a lot of issues. Early Riser on Jester is great as well. We don't need oh, Tune for the first couple that. fights. Because stress probably won't be an issue until later, but, you know, why not put it on? <clears throat> we don't have Finale, so Solo doesn't really do anything. And Best Vestal okay. Loadout. Uh, i probably consider upping the stun chance. It's very cheap. Like, it's rank 2 stun. So it should be like a couple hundred gold. Yeah, it's 250 for us right now. The 750s are a bit pricey. I can understand not getting them. I can upgrade her healing also. I would definitely get the stun. Like, rank 2 stun is very good here. Ooh. Rank 2 judgment, too, just for Minimum that accuracy. Three for a party, that's not bad. Oh, that's a big jump. Maybe we get the single heal. It's not, it doesn't go like 5 to... Actually, I guess it's 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. So that, that's okay. But Come that's on. still good. Like, it doesn't do 6 to 6. And then go up from there. So I like getting these to rank 2. 
It'd be nice if they were three, but they don't need to be three. Although it'd be nice if the stun was three. So it could stick. I'll wait on that. That's pretty expensive. That's fine, yeah. Armor. I like armor over weapons at uh, two. I wouldn't have upgraded Vessel's weapon. Okay. Like, Vessel's not there to, to hit stuff. She doesn't get a speed point either, so it's not worth it. Turns down just a little trinkets. bit. It's your trinkets here. Some good trinkets so far. Double healing. So, probably pretty much no cove adventure. But Juliana's head is going to be a free thirty percent. That's great. Yeah, it evens out. Uh, you. I would have took Chirurgeons for Vestal just so, like, yeah, you even out the, the stress penalty with Cove Adventurer, but then you just have 20% stress resist on top of it, and it really depends where the breakpoints are for Junius, but Tome of Holy Healing is really good, early. Uh, someone should get this, the Seer Stone, probably Crusader. We have Blasphemous Vial? Dang, why are we taking PD? Yo! Oh well. Let me take here. There's nothing good for Jester, besides Barristan's. But a lot of people aren't, like, up on Barristan's head for Jester. Like, it'd be Swift Cloak and, and Barristan's. I guess you do Solar Bracer. It's not melee damage. It's not Bleed Chance either. I, the Bleed Stone's okay. Like, if you did Bleed Stone uh, Swift Cloak, that'd be alright. I don't think right. I'm gonna bring anything. Ooh, Swift Cloak might not be too bad. You should still bring something. Yeah. Like, any bonus is better than no bonus. It's just moves even considered. Nervous and Fangophobia. This this A-bomb is taking 30% stress. That is that is frightening. So Nervous is 10% and then Fangophobia is 20% at High Torch. And we're going to be playing in High Torch. So... Oh, man, if we use Barrison, that's going to be bad. It's it's actually Solar Bracer. <clears throat> we don't really need the debuff amulet because the only debuff uh, to stick is I think Slams. I think Slam has a debuff for speed penalty, which is all right. And then there's the Blight Drop from. I'm gonna take the Solar Bracer on him. He's gonna get Crusader. Yeah. So there's the Blight Drop on Bile, and which isn't that worth. Head. All right. I would like Seer Stone on Crusader personally. Provisions time. So you can shift click to buy full stacks if you need to. Cost anything. Yeah, not none of this is gonna cost anything, so Oh it's bumper crop. Cool, take it all. All of it. No reason to not go a little overboard. So the reason you should take everything if it's bumper crop is like let's say you just get screwed and you don't find any loot and you have to sell it back, then you at least sell the things back to the the shop and you get a bit of extra cash. It'll be like a couple hundred gold at the most. But if you're really trying to like hyper min max proper play, that would be it. No laudanum. Please no laudanum. Even though we could take and just dump it. <laughs> oh, when it's free, you might as well. Yeah. Hey, if I leave with any of this, it's more gold. Okay, so they know. They know that it sells back. That's good. <clears throat> It is weird because I never use you. I uh, usually hear the other person talking on the other side. So, uh, kind of interesting. I turned down because I was afraid to talk over them. Then, like, you could hear neither of us. Fairly small dungeon. This isn't going to be too bad, hopefully. Yeah, it's a short. It's not a bad layout either. It's pretty like normal cove stuff. Cove lepers. Um, not really as important to kill rank three. Should open with ballad. Just because these things are fast enough where it's like, if you get Ballad, then you're at least guaranteed or almost guaranteed to go first on, like, Jester and Abomination. Four people. Then you get more accuracy, too, because we have no accuracy trinkets, which means that we need to be hit-capped right now. Because accuracy is a big deal. Stun... Stun rank 3. That's 5 damage. 3? Nope. Aww. Sorry, that was still the right play. So it's guaranteed dead, yeah, he is. 
And your back line, which is way squishier than your front line, is not getting hit this turn. That's okay. Or just kill him. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. That was a good turn one. One health. Oh well. What did Abomination do? Oh, he's it must dead because he yeah. was stunned. Durr? Okay. Um... Yes. Honestly, Dirk Stab. Dirk Stab, Manacles, it skips rest. its turn. And then we kill with something else. Not like it's gonna uh, be much, though. Nice too. crit. So as long as Abomination went first to lock it down, that means that we can kill it with Crusader. And that's fine. Definitely single heal. Crusader just top him off. That heal's gonna be for like nine, dude. Because of the two trinkets. Was it five to six? Should be should be like eight to nine. That'll get a stun on that. Ooh. Double with stun. The chance. Nice. You gonna stress heal with Crusader? The double stun made it possible. Doesn't really matter who gets the stress heal. What's good is right now this person at least understands the importance of stalling. So it's not the most attractive playstyle, but knowing how to slow the game down to get extra heals out is good because he could have just killed that grouper in like two attacks. Like it could have been Dirk Stab Manacles and then like zap it. It was also good for testing stuff. All right, no shovel. Cool. Yeah, um, we could have killed that grouper uh, in like two heals. hits, most likely. All right. And then we wouldn't have healed like the 16 stress or whatever it was, or the the 13. Is that Pluto Mania? Might be curious. I think it's Pluto Mania. Nice. Two deeds. I'll take it. It's a good start. Nothing. Good right. start. That went pretty well. Walking on through the dungeon. <clears throat> this video is an hour too. So it's gonna be like an hour in a short dungeon. You know what, I'm in a good position. So there, there are a couple things here. So we maxed out the torch before popping Shambler, who wipes out the torch. The second is, Shambler is a boss that wins through action economy. Which means at, that Shambler tries to win by taking your turns to do things that are not killing Shambler. So that's why it shuffles your party at the start, which is why to counteract it when you pop the altar, you should move your party around beforehand. And then it has attacks where it spawns things where you have to put damage into the things so Shambler gets to keep hitting you, which is again draining your turns in action economy. And then if you don't kill the, uh, the Shamblites or whatever they are, the Clapper Claws, then it scrambles your party again and you have to spend turns fixing it, but not killing the tentacles is how most people lose this fight. Usually, even if you know to kill the tentacles, sometimes you miss like once and it just ramps and that's it. That, that's like the entire fight. That's how touchy this fight can be. <clears throat> the infinite of the not the worst. Battle. Ballad for sure. Like we can't Dirk Stab and put uh, a bomb in there. So we should tran this is transform and slam. You might get away with one. No, it's transform and slam. Go for it. The reason it's transform and slam is um, a couple reasons. One, vessel should go before crusader. So you transform, slam, crusaders in three. Vessel's turn comes up. Vessel moves to two. Crusader holy lances back up to to two and pushes her to three, and the team is almost fixed right there. The other thing is. Abomination's best job in this fight is keeping the Clapper Claws down. So when he transforms and he rakes, he's able to like charge up enough damage that if the the Clappers haven't attacked, or if they have like one stack of prod, he can usually get through them in two hits. 
So it's not even a bad idea if Abomination gets to stay in 2 or 1 to transform and hit Rake on turn 1 just to get the bonus damage. So this is this is scary right now. Um, the Blight's not bad. The Blight isn't bad. Like this, You're going to get the full 9 damage out of this. But um, I'm a bit worried. <clears throat> Okay, critting a bomb is about the best target because he can stress heal himself. So here's Vestal's turn. We should definitely hit a holy water. That's a shame. Like Crusader's the only person who can afford to not hit like holy water and stuff. Okay, good. Okay. It's tough to say if you should use smite there or uh, that. We can't attack. We can't. We can't. We can't. I move him forward. That's not gonna work. Just, just stack battle. The the clappers have a lot of uh, evasion. I'm just gonna keep buffing for now. That's fine. I'm gonna have That's to right. get him forward also. Eesh. The only good part is this fight starts off kind of slow. About turn three is when it starts to get like really dangerous, but um, since the first turn is like sum summoning the clappers and then they're not buffed up on turn one, that means you can at least kind of fix your team. It's If you get shuffled later in the fight, it's devastating. It's usually uh, It's usually bad. Um, and this is where we're having, like, we're seeing, this is the difficulty in Abomination, is this should be a transform and slam, but it's still dangerous to do that in this fight, because we have to remember, this dude has plus 10% stress right now, because Fangophobia is gone, but then, like, plus, like, 40, I think, because of Torchless on Radiant, I can't remember the exact number, but that is, uh, what we're dealing with here. And the other thing, too, is because of... Getting afflicted, taking us out of transform. The longer we wait to transform, the less transform time we get. So this this could have been stunning the I'm the clapper up front. Stacking blight on that man. <clears throat> that man. Pro tutorial. This is fine. Yeah. Move back. Yeah. See, we could have popped that. Uh, Stun? Stun Clapper's not bad, actually. Man, I gotta move her back. Just can't use... Yeah, move back, and then Dirk stab next turn. Yet. She can use her best moves from 2, which is funny. Her best moves are Stun and Group Heal. <laughs> Judgment's pretty good, too. But, um, that... We need to hit Holy Water on our Squish units. Like, Vestal and Jester definitely need Holy Water right now. Because it's gonna last for the rest of this fight. And this boss does a lot of uh, status damage. Okay, I can use Dirk's stab here. Stab the clapper, yeah. Didn't get the kill off, oh well. See, again, Rake. Rake would be very good. Okay, we're in, like, huge danger territory already, because that clapper's got two stacks. This is transform. The... The damage over time is too slow. I would even consider zapping that front clapper. Only a four. This might have been a bad idea. We outrolled might the clapper? Gotta kill the clapper! Uh, oh, we're just like one crit away at this point. One of these clappers is going to crit at some point. See, look at that. We're at three stacks. I think the front one's at two? Or it's at one. Now Bile's actually okay. Surprisingly. Because at least does some damage to the, the clapper. And does some boss damage. spamming that. That's actually doing a lot of damage. It's doing damage. It's just the fact that... um. It's very dangerous, because, like, right here, we just missed the front clapper. This, if we miss the front clapper, this nope. fight's out of control. It's already kind of bad, but we can, like, rope this in. Because Shambler by itself doesn't do a lot of damage. You know, it cleaves you for, like, 0 to 2, and then it puts, like, a, a fair a fair damage over time on you. So it's always, like, a like a 2 by 3 or 3 by 3 or whatever it is. I think it's 2 by 3. And that, that's easy enough to deal with. We should do Stunning Blow for the extra accuracy. 
take out one of those. Okay, so we stuck both dots to that back one, but that thing's charged up too. So this is the shuffle. Okay. Yep. Oh my god. This is also why you run finale in this fight. Not that they had it unlocked, so they couldn't do anything about that, but. Okay, no one's death stored yet. Um. I might shuffle us one more time. Please bleed him. Oh my god, yes. We're close! We should we need holy water on Jester. We can only dirk stab up there. We could have dirk stabbed that turn. God. Shuffle us again. That's the other thing too. Left her up front. Okay, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Virtuous. Oh, Missed a five percent. Feels bad. Okay, come on. Ballad, 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 ballad. He's got one more ballad. move left. What's his speed at? Speed zero. This is definitely that is definitely holy water on Jester because so we can take one damage from the the attack, and then if we're like blighted on top of it, Jester could die, and we have. We can't heal him. We can't get a healing with him there. Oh my god. We gotta live one more turn. Yeah, that's store. Okay, not blighted. So, the nice part is not getting punished for holy water right there because when you're virtue, you get 20% to all your resists. I have to get him off Seth's store. Yeah. Kinda sucks. So it'd be nice to stun one of these clappers on turn one. The other thing, too, is when the boss dies, the clappers don't die with him. So that's what makes this fight very hard, is you have to, like, really manage how these things are dying at the same time. It's not Dirk Stab. Okay, no, he's, he's dead. dead to damage over time. He's dead now. Oh, he wasn't? Oh my God. Okay. Alright, we're chilling. That was so much worse than I anticipated. You're not done yet. Oh, the dodge! Clutch! Yeah, why not just Dirk Stab Holy up there? shit! <laughs> stun, not stun, stun. First one, first one, first one. All right, fine. We could have stunned both of these. That would have been really nice. You just hit one, right? Is that minimum damage? Is that an achievement? Oh, I still have to kill these guys. Okay. Is that the shambler killing achievement? Yeah, this is the hardest part of the fight. Is you have to clean up the clappers afterwards. But we're not in danger. We can just get crit to Death Door by this one clapper, but it's not, um... It's not trying to kill one of these with, like, three afflictions nice and, crit. like, four damage one and, uh, blight on top. Had good health. Stun it. We're very undervaluing our stuns here. Because we can stun it for this turn, and then this one have happened. It's okay, Abomination can handle this. Dark Stab. Jesus. It's gonna be very hard for this thing to kill us unless uh, someone refuses to heal. Okay, good, stun. No, that was the right play though, stunning blow. It's got 75 prot. It's got 75 prot. Lots of prot. No finale. Yeah, we're gonna just chip this thing to death. It's like hitting a rock with a spoon. Please just die. Stunning blow, please. Please, please I'm stunning blow. You. Okay. Oh my Hold on. God. Man, I had to pause at the worst time. I got to see the map without reacting to it, but that that is excellent job. Made it through that fight. Got the map as a reward. Love to see it. This is definitely the best Shambler Trinket. Like, we could retreat and this mission's a success. Like, sure, we don't okay. finish it and all that, but, um... Oh, that's the other thing, too. I forgot about this. Uh, so, when Shambler dies, you can actually raise the light level after that. Not many people know that, so that really takes the power level out of this thing. Because after this thing is dead, because you see here, since we tried to 
What did we hit it with? That did this much damage. But, um... I think when we try and stun it, you can see. Where's the stun? Just... Okay, here. Alright, so we have... We went from no torch... to having a bit of torch. So there's actually some light there. So when you kill Shambler, you can just bump the torch right away. And that way you can um, not take all that extra damage and crit chance from it. You can even tell because instead of being at zero light, when we started raising the torch, it went to 31. So that means we started with 6, which is from uh, Vessel. Good use of food healing. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's fix this team. Let's oh. put them in order. I want to like look ahead and see if we leave or not. Oh my god. Okay. That's a hard fight. That went a lot worse than I anticipated. Have you not fought Shambler? That actually went pretty well. <laughs> There's one There's Death Door and one Affliction. That's pretty I good. Get out of here with him not being hopeless. There's one Affliction too. A chance. We'd have to stall very aggressively, but Abomination can also heal himself, so that's good. Still ballot first. It's always ballot first. The only time it's like not ballot first is if you can like afford the speed penalty. Really surprised if I get it. Nice dodge. dodge. These don't pull us yet. Nice dodge. Dodged it too. We still stun. We stun like the the fish because the fish has a damage buff out. Well Good crit. Most vessels gonna stun it. Can you stun or just smite the jellyfish. You take out the maggot. Nope. The maggot's actually the least threatening thing on the board right now. The jellyfish and the uh, nice crit. Um, the shaman are the most threatening right now. I I'd go for the jellyfish first. Although stress is a big deal, but we don't have reach, so it's not like we can really do anything about the shaman. So, stress heal. Stress heal, uh, Crusader. I think I could actually get this man off that. You luck. But I'd rather... I'd rather work on A-bomb, like, in the next couple fights, and make sure that... Dodge. Vestal and Crusader don't afflict this turn. Other. We're just dodging everything. Good shit. Okay, so both of these guys are dead. Uh, I just have to worry about the shaman. I'm really impressed that we took a, a shambler with a... I, I don't want to say an, an, an unoptimized party. Like, Abomination's very good in that fight. Yeah. Stress you? And everything, dude. They're really not having any luck. We got three stress heals that we can just keep dumping into A-bomb. We can actually get this off by like turn seven. Potentially. This is why. This is why. Frustration. Yeah, Crusader was like really close to afflicting. So we should have got Crusader to like 70. Nice crit. And I'm then from that. Wow. we could have worked on Abomination afterwards. Um, kill the maggot. The team that stun the okay. stun the shaman. Stun shaman, kill maggot. Stun the shaman. There we go. A blazing star is born. And give it to yourself, or I would kill the maggot. Because the maggot doesn't leave a body, and now <clears throat> the shaman is up front. Oh, that's just not cool. The shaman can only use the ceremonial right. cut up front. We don't need ballad. There's no reason for ballad right here. Hit him once more, though. He's gonna be hitting us for like five damage. It's very tame now. Just take the heals. Is he yelling at everyone? Oh, he's hurting himself. So we may... This... Do we just... Do we stall for reinforcements? It's gonna be very hard to kill this team. 
Like outside of Affliction, so... For stalling, we have to hit it twice. So we should use Dazzling Light and then, like, Dirk Stab. There's something that won't do a lot of damage to it. Or just let reinforcements happen. Stop hurting yourself. It's gonna be okay, Abomination. You have to kill this thing, yeah. Oh, wow, that was really good stress heal. Yeah. Oh, we should put the map on, dude. <laughs> the map is so good. They may not know if you can switch trinkets in a dungeon, to be fair. But, I mean, we fought so hard for that map, we should put it on. Yeah. Torch is maxed. All right. Man. There we go. Okay. We're recovering pretty well. Like, th this is looking way better than it actually was. You know, we had a couple people, like, low HP. We, we've got two afflictions. We're about to get rid of one. Empty. Oh, well. Torch. I should actually be able to get it off of them. I hate jellyfish. Uh, this is probably the time it's worth skipping battle, because you can get this affliction this turn. <clears throat> just need a crit. One time. I probably still bile. I'm just gonna go for it. Rewarded. Beautiful. Rewarded. Pass? No, just stress. Okay, we need a stress heal. Okay. Um, Vestal. For the same it. reason, we don't want Vestal to afflict next. And this way we only deal with one person that's afflicted. So what, 85? Like, she's... Oh, wow. Well. She's okay here, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get abusive off of him. But if I do, that's gonna be great. So the reason the reason we should like tap Vestal once, once or twice, is because you know we may go into a, a fight where a Plagic Shaman goes first, stress wave, and that's it. Or, like, someone gets yelled at in the hallway, and then we hit, like, some stress damage walking down the hallway. So, there are a lot of ways to pick up 15 stress, Should've like, healed that bleed. quickly. That was a misplay. Should I heal the bleed? No, the bleed's fine. Like, we're not in danger right now. It's very hard for this team to kill us from where it's at. We require only the strength to follow it. Let's kill this jellyfish, clean it up. The reason I think we I should hit Vestal once or twice with stress heals is because now we're like trying to get rid of oh, Crusaders. Lucky crit on his end. Uh, I don't think Jester can crit with a stress heal, which which sucks. Okay, he's dead. He's not gonna be dead just yet. Yeah, like we don't need to be putting out fires like the entire run. You know, it'd be nice to get Vestal down to like. 70 because look she already picked up six there's no stress caster she just got yelled at one time she picked up six so hit him with the... we're tunneling oh, too hard on crusaders okay. where the other thing too is the reason it was very easy to get vessel vessel Vestal. I'm gonna lower her just in case of a uh, unlucky crit. Good. The head is in the right space. We're good on health. That is the correct thinking. I still have his move, but if he misses, it's gonna. It's got three oh, HP. Wait, no, it's he's dead. dead. Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> it's okay. That still looks like a lot of life in the bar. Yeah. But what I was gonna say is the reason it was so easy to deal with abominations is because he has absolution, so we could heal up to like. 20 or something, 21 stress um, a turn off him, which is awesome, but Vestal and Crusader don't have like a third way to heal stress, so we don't have three stress heals going into someone, so it's going to take a lot longer. Dump the Citrines. No, dump the Citrine! I can get abusive off, this is going to be great. Yeah, we are recovering very well. You're also seeing the power of Jestel as a team. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh yeah, we're afflicting. Vessel's getting it this this uh, this turn. Although the surprise kind of helps, but we have no reach. We have no reach on this team. Right away. They're gonna aim for her. I can hope to go first, but that's not gonna stop it. You are going first because it's surprised. Oh well. Oh good. It seems kind of greedy. It probably. Okay, the other thing to consider too is, what if both shaman That's good. hit Vestal? Wow. I think one would afflict her. We're also seeing, like, okay, so there's another thing I was talking about. Junius head. If we didn't have Junius head, she'd be at about like 68 stress right now. Like these two blocks here. This is Junius head. So it does matter. Stun rank three. See if I can stun on okay. Oh, she's gonna get yelled at again. Okay. Oh, miss good. Abomination down to zero strength. Uh. <laughs> Do it, yes. And I really don't that might want be enough. her to get afflicted. Spit on him. Spit Most on him. Light. Nice. Taking six damage here. Barrison's going to work. 23. Stress cleave with the dodge. Double dodge. That was about the best He's way dead. that could have went. Obviously, Crusader dodging the stress attack would have been nice too. One. But because stress wave moves them back, it actually moved the front one into stun range while the other one is gonna die to blight. You gotta be kidding me! No. We have to attack. We're we're hitting stall warnings right now. What do we do? We spit on him. No, no, we stun too, so we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, I would I would give up on Crusader at this point. Alright. Let's make it vessel like 30 this fight, miraculously. And it's okay. Just smite the smite the shaman. And the red guardian, that's fine. Stun the front? Stun? Yeah. Nice. We say nice at the same time. <laughs> Drink like two liters of water in the last six hours. Apparently, it's not enough. Now this done. Nice. Now we're doing pretty good. Jestel, like I said, showing what it what it's good for. It's like, yeah, you can get beat up, but you can slow play it. And if this team has enough turns, it recovers from anything. I like that duo. And I, I do need to give shoutouts to the player, because they, they really understand the, the merit of stalling. Because in a game with limited healing and recovery, like, recovery is just worse than what the monsters can do. Like, your heals never one-to-one -one their attacks. Like, if you look at... Uh, Inspiring Tune from Jester. Tune from Jester heals 12 at max with no no bumps. Cultist Switch hits you for like 24. You know, you just, you can't keep up. It's just there to like help you mitigate it, which means stalling gets way stronger. Which is one of the, it's actually one of the flaws in this game. Is that you're encouraged to stall. Citrines. Dump. The citrines. Dump, dump the so citrines. Drop down the anti -venom. That's fine too, but dump the citrines. Yeah. Holy water on the, the idol. What do you do? Holy water's at the front, so if they do the same thing of testing, they're gonna hit it on the first try. Uh, we had level zeros against Shambler, by the way. Holy crap. 
think it's a damage aura. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty good. I'll I think if you put holy water on it, like, the head just melts off. Like, it falls off the top of it. Like, Arr! There's one hunger proc. That's, uh, that's stress eater. I think crusader had it. Put the map on! Give Vestal the map! Wow. Give it to Jester, too. Je Dude, Jester has no other trinket. What are the chances, of that? Are the chances? Look like it was about 30%. Okay, nothing else works on this besides anti venom. This is like one of the worst curio. It's not worth it. Uh, do I really try it without anything? No. Uh, that would be a terrible idea. <clears throat> That's one of the worst uh, curio, though. Like, you just get like 5 HP or like 10 stress or something like that. I guess the 10 stress, uh, it's fine. I don't know. It just doesn't feel worth Like 150 <laughs> gold to heal 5 HP. Oh. And our torch is in a. Uh, it's under max light, so we definitely need to hit a torch right now. Oh well. Because we can torch in battle. Because right now I think our solar uh, solar bracer is off, um, offline. I was going to say solar crown, and then I went no way to solar bracer, and like, I kind of stumbled around for a sec. He's okay. dodging, though. Balad. Ballad is a really good example of an investment move because yeah you don't do anything with Jester your first turn aside just nice pumping up everyone but then you go first next turn and it makes up for it immediately it's so it's it's good okay torches back up oh, shock, baby. Is this whole thing the the dungeon I thought we were gonna have two dungeons with that long was I like that we're thinking through everything. Do one more damage to him. Oh, okay, wait, so no, the witch is dead. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. Guaranteed. Stun the front? Yeah. Stun the front. Stunning the front prevents more damage than um, just healing. My phone beeped. Where's my phone? It's on, it's on my dresser. I would, I would give up on Crusader at this point. I would just try and get. Vessel to zero. So I can like take Vessel out next mission if I had to. And I'm pretty sure Chances Crusader's going to a facility. So low. The other no thing too. Get him down, but... We oh, could if we stalled right against some things. Like we could the the Guardian up front is actually a great thing to stall against. Because we have Vessel who's gonna heal through most of that damage. And then we can just like, it has a lot of prot, too, so we can just hit it a couple times for, like, two damage each. And, uh, stall from there. It's really good. Don't know why I even checked. Kind of sucks. I wish I didn't have to use my, my lighting right now. Because having this in my face for, like, five hours is, uh, it's kind of painful. <laughs> I think I need to aim it differently, because I have, like, on my desk right in my face. But I think I need to put it, like, up. So... Just the weakness of my YouTube game. Oh, that poor man. Double stun. Yeah, for my... My YouTube game here, like, I'm I'm not good at balancing audio. Yeah, we should have this fight in the bag now. Because I do it by ear. And I'm really bad with lighting. As you can see by the that window back nice. there. So we're chilling. Beautiful we do need to heal this Jester, though. There is another tactical thing here, and that's letting Jester hit 200 uh, stress. Because if you hit 200 stress with a virtue, your virtue wipes out, and you go back to zero stress. But now, if we leave, Jester is going to be at 100 stress, I think, in town because of the virtue. So, like, it's it's better to just let him hit 200 and erase it at this point. But that's um. Uh, that doesn't usually come into play Sorry. during during regular play like this. It's really good in Torchless. So if you ever play Torchless and you hit a Virtue, especially in like your first couple weeks when stress is just uncontrollable, you know, then let's... 
let someone hit 200. Like, walk around a hallway until they hit 200. Just, like, he's get a stall warning. He's not dead yet, but he's gonna die next turn. He's also guaranteed to die. Who is? Okay, that was about the best thing that could have happened. So the okay, Guardian wastes his last turn want. here. We're also out of spear fishing range. Which is good. Ha! Goodness. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Group heal. That line is surprisingly deep. Nice. Yeah, stun him. Just stun him. Do it. Do it! I like that we're in the habit of checking damage over time to, like, count kills. Um... Wait, how many turns left on Blade? Two. There's one virtue that lowers stress. I forget what it is. It might be courageous. I'm just gonna have to hit him once after this. I don't think we're gonna need a stall warning this turn. I took five damage, so we didn't get punished for that. He also spread his damage out for us, which means that group heal gets way better. He's dead. Maybe it won't kill him? Ah. Oh well. Emeralds. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. He said it. Okay. Trap. Please, we can't put the map on. Seventy percent and Curious still. Is the trap maker That's unlucky. This is where trinket swapping unlucky. would have been really good. No. Yeah. No. No. I. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 That's a party wipe. Don't. Okay. Double Shambler Altar. Wow. I'm not going to do that. That would be complete and utter suicide. Might. Very good thing to learn in your, your YouTube career. Don't throw it for content. Like, we can put the map on Jester and we get a free spot. If only we knew. Really? That's scary. There's a lot of dungeon left. Another mariner. We're gonna... Actually, no, 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 it's Radiant, so the... Yeah, Torch Penalty's not as bad walking around. What's up, dude? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, we <laughs> lost. <laughs> it, it's over. Retreat. This will retreat. And so, because we have a room battle after this, the reason this is a retreat is oh we have no God. reach. I love reacting to the moments and having like a, a genuine reaction and thinking about what's happening, and then something happens that makes me like have to pause the video and step away, and then I lose my genuine reaction. It's not fun. But the reason this is a retreat is because this team has no reach. So Collector's just gonna run to the back. And then we're that's it. Like our reach is judgment. Which as good as Jestel is, it really penalizes your reach. So we didn't get the stun on the opener either. Like this is done. I don't know. There's a lot of video left, so we may pull it out. But um This is bad. This is very bad. Please stun one of them. Okay. Their stun resist isn't that high, I think. It should be low enough. Stun yeah, rank the there for one? sure. Yeah, 25% look at that. Okay, there. Alright. I'm not as worried now. Should be. We're like one crit headhunt away from someone being close to Death Door. Nice crit. That's nice. 
Let me leave these alone. Both of them are dead. I would, um... Oh. The way I would handle this fight is I would kill He's one Higher Man, and then just try and use everything I can to stack, like, damage over time on Collector. Or transform and rage. Okay. We haven't transformed at all, which is fine. Because... A bomb does better when he doesn't transform in most cases. Yeah, he's dead. All right. um, stun the just stun her. Because when can we get the stun, this, this is weird. This is like a nice group heal. Okay. Ooh, Great. I'll take it. We support any and all tempo zaps here. Actually, doesn't have too good of light resist or bleed resist, so this is really work in my favor okay so the I'm assuming the player doesn't know this so for anyone who doesn't know the way collector operates is collector always has to have one highwayman head if he does not have one he will summon if he still has one and he loses one of his summons so if he has like Vestal and then one highwayman he may summon it's not guaranteed but he might do it but the safest way for this team to handle this fight because it has no reach is to kill one, let Collector come up, and then just beat him down as hard as we can until Collector decides to summon another one, and then just stun the stun the like alternate stuns on the front two, like each turn. So just stun like Vessel and stun Hyo Man just like back and forth that way. But it seems like we're doing okay. That could have been Manacles. That should have been Manacles because stunning him up here slows him down so much right now. He also Resisted resisted that, the... though. He's gonna... Yeah. Stun Vestal. I'm just gonna start beaming him down with that <laughs> and hope for the best. In case the heal. It's not the damage buff or whatever this she gives. actually heal him? Alright. This is probably. And since the... Since this isn't... Like Stitch and her Blood Moon. Okay, stun was the right call. Oh god. But since this isn't Stitch and her Blood Moon, they don't get the HP bump, which means we could actually reliably try and kill these. Don't have a good move to hit back line. I just don't. God, Collector's such a good fight. I just wish the Hyo Man didn't hit as hard as they do. I just like take like three points of damage off them. I think this fight would be perfect. And the reason is, it teaches you... Fuck it. I I'm gonna have to do it. Finally. Oh, it's not slam, though. It must be rake spam. Yeah. Um, before we go any further... start spamming rake, I don't care. Good. So, just listen to the sound of my own voice. No, I'm kidding. But uh, the reason Collector is a perfect fight is because it makes it really tests every part of team building. It's your team has to have sustain because this is a very hard fight to burst down unless you like mark him and get very lucky. The other is your team has to be able to accommodate like changing game plans. So like you'll have Collector up front and then he moves back and then you have to have reach on your team. So your team has to be balanced that way. And then since he summons like. On average, a healer, uh, a guard, and a damage dealer, you have to like uh, assess threats and decide who is more important to kill that turn. So this is a very, very good fight. I think this is one of the best fights. I think I put it like B on my tier list, which um, I wish I did. This, this is probably like a really good fight. Maybe it's an S tier fight. It, just, it teaches you so much. And you can hear it. The player is like, oh, I don't have uh, backline reach. Like, you find out very quickly what your team's weak at. When you fight this dude. Not the stun. Is it stress? Not the stun. See? He has no highway man. So he summons like he summons instantly. So bad. Double dodge. Nice. We need a ballad there. So I don't think we have any ballad because our accuracy number is like white, it's not yellow. So. Yeah, so that's why. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. 
Virtue one time. There's a retreat. Pack it up. I feel like I'm preemptively saying that. Double crit, alright. That's how this fight goes. <laughs> oh no! He's guarded, so... Do we know stun can break guard? That's not something you learn, Kill like, right him. away. Killing breaks guard. So... That still dies, okay. He should summon. Ah, oh, sucks. This is, like, our one person who can... ...actually reach him back there, but we have to heal. Double healing tree can soon, okay. We need ballad. Can we stuck the bleed? That's good. Stun? Can we stun him up there? No, wait, was he already stunned? He's got a buff of some kind. I think that's from Vestal. The Vestal head. Collect call. This How did I know? just gonna keep spamming that. I, I can't stop that. You can slow it down, but it's very difficult to figure out how to slow it down until like, you've played it a lot. You have to fight the suit a few times before He's you like out oh, of that, my, that's it. Uh, dot range, unlike the shambler. The other thing too, someone pointed this out, but the the common joke that we talk about with Hyo Man is that there's developer bias because Chris Brassa likes Hyo Man the most, and uh, that's why he got the best Crimson Cord set. That's why just all these these things like why does Hyo Man have one point more damage than Bounty Hunter? Why does Wicked Slice have a positive damage mod? Like, all this stuff, right? And you can even see more dev bias here. The Highwayman head glow is more than the other head. Someone pointed this out in stream, and I just could not stop thinking about it after that. It's more dev bias. You can't get away. It's okay, Rake is charged up. We only got, like, two more turns of transform, though. This is Rake. Like, I get him in that range, but I just can't do much once he gets there, because he summons. It's tough. Got robbed of our last turn. So he shouldn't collect call, see? He's got one Highwayman head. It's time to go. Uh, I'm actually not going to be able to do this battle. And Vessel took her turn. Oh, God. And then we're stunned. Yep. Oh, no bleed. Oh, no, please! Oh, look, our, uh... When did we lose our affliction? Hold up. Or not affliction, our virtue. It was right here. So we hit Death's door, and look, it goes away. I did not think we were going to get there. Oh, so we survived the Death's door. Do you have any bandages? I think we tossed it. So, we're stuck. God, I really hope my Vestal goes... Nope. That's okay. Gotta go before Collector. Which we did. So if we live, Jester actually hit the best possible situation. I mean, nice that the Virtue lasted... Like, you wanna lose the Virtue, like, the end of the run. Which, we're almost at the end. Alright, there we go. A chance. That could that could be game winning. Just rage, rage. Go in. Yes. All right. This is what people love about this game. So you're telling me there's a chance where it looks bad, and by all rights it is bad. But then you get some really lucky stuff just in a moment of. Just in a moment of good fortune. It's actually it's worth inspiring cry on uh Jester. Yeah. One point may as well be a thousand. I don't have a bandage for that bleed, and that bleed is literally killing him. Yes. Rage again. Rage. We even got courageous too. Might be vigorous, that's the other one I'm thinking of. I don't know. Please die. Definitely some virtues are better than others. Die. Oh, we needed that to stick. I I'm probably gonna, yeah. I'm gonna lose this jester. I I'm going to lose him.
Don't summon. You passed. You have got to be kidding me. He's dead. He's dead. Just take him off Death Store again. Oh my god. This this is about the best. If he doesn't summon, okay. Let's say if he didn't summon, we got the best of all worlds right there. Both of them are dead. This so is good. He's gonna get pushed back. There. We can't reach. Oh my god. Rake. Rake anyway, charge it up. Don't transform back. We got the dream, which is hitting virtue and uh That's fine. It's honestly fine. But we got the, the dream of hitting virtue and um transform state. So we got a lot longer transform. Ballad. 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 Cause those two are dead. Ballad. Ballad. Trying to get the double kill. Okay. <laughs> they are both dead to bleed. Which... I, I understand. There, there's a lot happening at the same time, right? We're, we're trying to have Jester not die. We're trying to kill this boss. Like, I, I, I totally get it, right? The two dudes in the middle were gonna die to bleed. And that could have been the best case scenario. It would have been nice if Collector went first, actually. Because Collector goes first, the two middle ones die to bleed, and then Collector's up front, where you can just bully him. Like, you can hit him with a smite, if you wanted to. But, um, let's see. The main thing, too, it's not even, like, that, getting that dream roll of bleeds to get him up here, with, like, him wasting his turn, like, that, that's a long shot, but... The other reason is, they were both guaranteed to die to bleed. So there's nothing else to do that turn except hit Bellin. How is he still alive? My Jester is the luckiest man alive right now. He's five two Death Door checks. By the average, he should fail the next one. I think we tanked one of the bleeds, though. Oh, we had three bleeds on us. God, we're so close, dude. Just burn this highway, man. I just cannot get it. You're almost there. Here. If we didn't get this virtue on abomination, this was not happening. Good crit. So we got we got the luck where we needed it. Jesus. Okay, that bleed should be winding down. Let's see if we had battle this, this turn. Accuracy is garbage right now. If we had battle, that would have stuck. Group heal. We have to protect Avon. They're both low, but he has the bleed. Dang, okay. that's a lot. I realized he only had like 19 HP. Is that the stun? No, that's stress. Headhunt. How many times has he crit my jester? How a many lot. times? I, a I lot. actually lost count. You know, I said to group heal, we need to rage. Rage this man. God, we're so close, dude. We need to stick this blade. If we're going for it, it's gotta stick. I actually can't eat, can't eat food, no. This is starting to get ridiculous and so prolonged. We're close. Is that the heal? It's a buff. She can buff herself, I didn't realize that. What? Is Deathblow Resist not a myth? If he gets afflicted here, this is gonna be even worse. So what? So okay. what? Heal him! So best heal him so Vessel can zap him, please! I just have to- oh Yes. God. That's right. It's right. This Don't is stress. getting laughable. Don't stress, that's right. He's stun is big gamble. If we stun Collector, he's, he's toast. But also if we hit for, um... Okay. The max. Unless he gets healed, life he's steal. going to die. Yeah. And, we oh dodged. my god, and a dodge on the life steal. So clutch. 
Just harvest. I, I don't even care that you're on death's door. I thought he was gonna get another perk oh, sure. Yes, okay. No hope in this hell. Just don't no skip your fucking all. turn. Oh my god! How did we do it, dude? Well, we survived three uh, death blow checks. This is a leave. Leave this dungeon. There's one room, but just just cut your winnings. Cash out. I don't. I don't. I knew I was gonna have to like deal with some some stuff for recording a video so long, but we're almost there. I don't. I don't need the shovels. Okay. Oh my god. Leave. I think there's a. No, no, that's the door right there. I was gonna say there might be oh one more. A food check. My team is a complete mess. I don't even know what I, I don't even want to know the probability that my jester lived from that. It's a two and three. Three times. He's still bleeding. He's still in trouble. So is that that's Okay. Eight? 8 by 27? 8 out of 27? Let's go for the kill. Executed with impunity. Yeah, we're uh, I'm not messing around on this last fight. I'll be really snarky and be like, that implies you were messing around before. I, I know they weren't. Not like this, Jester. Not at the end. Oh, Stun the. Take a direct. Oh my god, he did. Oh my god, that actually is a thing. It used to not be. The way you could get around it is you used to. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm like 99% certain you could do like the single heal. And if they rejected it, then you could group heal and do it after. I'm pretty sure they patched that. Because uh, otherwise, that would be too broken. I wouldn't even say broken. It's like a very niche thing that most people don't know. He had healed. Just trying to kill him. The, the Giga Brain thing Go is to kill the corpse. You gotta heal on. Kill the corpse. Nope. Because that pulls the Jester. The grouper up front so it can't hit Jester. Really courageous. My chair. <sighs> so I found out. Okay. I found out why all of us are dying to the first death blow check. This this person has taken if all of the death blow resist. You do not take resist. healing here. He the, the chances are so low on him. Oh my god! Finally. Alright. This is why. This is why none of us can survive death blow. Just kill him. This is definitely a roller coaster of a, a run. Like how it dodged. Honestly, sure. Now it's just doing Seaward Slash. Stress Wave. Let's say go ahead, hit 200, but it's not virtue. Um, we probably should have stunned there. Alright. Perfect range for Bile. Like, Jester's out of danger. So we have to concentrate on ending this fight. <clears throat> okay. Crusader hitting some consistent high numbers. Harvest! I, I don't even care. Just die, please. Should be it, right? Five? Five? Damage, Might have six. Uh, you got six, yeah. Alright. Stress wave! Before I die! Snuff torch! Who's really paying attention to that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolution! Okay. We're done here. <clears throat> We're done. Dang, nice job. We're pulling out. I would have ran at Collector's, so props to finishing this. 
Let's see the quirks. There's a lot of time left. I'm gonna stop it after that. Those are worth twenty gold. Twenty gold. Fifteen. Okay. So you could also, so people ask me, I've done this before, where you hit holy water at the end of the mission on each person. And that's because the way, for some ridiculous reason, because how are you supposed to know this? The game calculates your chance of getting a disease in the quirk screen by your disease resist at the end of the level. So since this bumps your disease resist by 33%, you hit everyone with this and you just get a little bit better chance of not getting diseased. That's pretty nice. Oh my god. At last, hold some Speedstone? Holy shit. Made some decent money too. I think that's the hardest, uh, the hardest dungeon I've done so far. Well, good job. I, I honestly don't know how Digby is alive. The fact this man is alive is a miracle. Natural. Rewarded. Rewarded. Eh. Gray Rod. <laughs> All right, that was Bantha Fodder. I will link them down below. But good job. Um, this team was honestly not the most optimal, but it handled a Shambler with only like one death blow check, and then it handled uh, Collector afterwards. So I did not see this team beating Collector, and you clutched it. So great job. And uh, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.